I'm very much a strong believer in loving what you do, and that's why I'm in science. My name is Mariam Kiran, and I'm a woman in science. My master's is an MSc Medicine in Chemical Biology. Um, so that's the name of the degree. And we focus on developing novel um, immunodiagnostic and immunotherapeutic tools to target diseases. So in my case, um, it's triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is one of those subtypes of breast cancer that is highly aggressive um, and displays a lot of heterogeneity within the population, as well as it being quite prevalent in African populations. There are currently no um, targeted treatments available for, for this subtype. So where other subtypes have one or two at least targeted methods of therapy, triple negative breast cancer doesn't. So that means that you know, the mortality rate um, is quite high for, for this disease. Um, and so what we do is we take an immunotherapeutic approach and immunotherapy is essentially utilizing the patient's own immune system to then target that disease. Cancer as a disease is so complex and it's also so prevalent. Each and every one of us have experienced like loss because of cancer. So I grew up in a small town. What I like to think is a small town. I think it's quite quaint and I think it's the most beautiful place. It's called Strand. My love of science is something that I share with my dad and his advice was that, you know, um, choose whatever you want, but choose something that is going to make a difference in the world. Um, choose something that's going to help people because that way you know you're fulfilling your duty as a Muslim as well. COVID is through a wrench in everyone's lives. What also came with COVID is loss. A lot of people lost people. I lost my dad. That was the biggest loss um, that I've ever experienced in life. And then dealing with the grief and the subsequent depression that came with that is something that I'd never experienced before. The silver lining there would be that you know, I'd never had such a wrench thrown into my plans. So I don't know if you can tell, but I was always very clear about my plans. And so what that taught me was that sometimes you, you really do need to roll with the punches, but also that, you know, I had to rediscover my love for science and for the research that I was doing. Um, and it wasn't easy, but I feel like it's stronger now than it ever was. Um, so I see myself as a stronger person and a stronger academic for that. I'm someone who's never just having my hand in one pie, if I can put it that way. Like I'm always wearing many hats. And I have a company on the side that I would also like, you know, we're in a growing phase right now. But it's also a very exciting like journey that we're on. Myself and my two friends, we were speaking about our skincare routines for the first time ever. And we found that each of us were experiencing problems with our skin that our skincare routines were not, you know, addressing. Um, so there was a level of frustration but also like a very like aha moment that, you know, we all love this. We all are capable of doing the research to figure out why what we're using is not working for us. Um, and so that's exactly what we did. We started the company from there. We started, it was very much based in research and still is. So basically we put together our two loves, um, skincare and science and Derma et al, which is our company, is the fruits of that. Master of Science in Medicine with distinction, Mariam Karan. So as for graduation, I actually caught, like it still hasn't fully hit me that I'm graduating and I'll, I'll be getting a degree at the end of this because my mind is already at what's next. <laughs> Um, but I'm very grateful that I've gotten to this point and I see it as my family, you know, I see it as this is for them because without them I would not have gotten to where I am now.